the plastic on these safety interlinks on these SL3000s can bust and go bad and the machine not work. Uh, it's pretty common, but this is kind of uh, helpful in the fact that it keep, keeps you from accidentally busting your wrist or hand or knuckles whenever you're using the emergency crank handle on this machine if it happens to actually kick back on. Um, anyway, it's pretty simple. You got three Phillips head screws here that remove that item. I should probably add you should turn off this main power switch before you do any of this. I forgot to mention that. And the part number, by the way, is LiftMaster's Kilo, or K75-50893. That's Kilo75-50893. If your model has <clears throat> this, this reset button, it's hard to see here on the operator. And that's the back end of it. Then you'll see you'll see two cables coming in the safety interlink. The safety interlink generally only comes with one cable. I've never seen one that has two. So that means that you'll need to carefully unplug these two connections and add them to your new part. So we bolt the new part on. No big deal. It doesn't require a whole lot of torque. You'll find that they're uh, difficult to get off if you're if you're doing it by hand. If you'll just bump, um, basically kind of pulse your um, screwdriver rather than just applying constant pressure and increasing the pressure and hoping that it gives, um, and and also hoping it doesn't slip and booger up the screw. If you actually just kind of bump your screwdriver and keep bumping it, the, I find they always give. You just don't try to force it um, now we just come around to this side of the machine and loosen up these four screws and then this cover just lifts you got to pull it out from this electrical socket a little bit and then lift up on it and it'll come off i'm doing this by myself so i can free my hand by the way this is not my install not my wiring, not my monkeys, not my zoo, not my mess. I'm just putting in a new safety interlink here. And in this mess here, you'll see where your inter interlink cable comes in and plugs on the bar, on the board right here. And there's a little retaining clip. It's very difficult to see at the top. And then just, you'll see here, there you go. Right at the top, if you just press down on that, it'll release. And you can just snap the new one in place after you've carefully run it through this junction here. Snap your clear cover back in place. Tighten up the screws. And you're done. It's painless. Everything's automated. Obviously, I'm turning it back on.